Hi friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this gorgeous envelope mini album using your tools from We Are Memory Keepers. Now, although this tutorial is intended for beginners, you seasoned crafters are more than welcome to watch this video. <laughs> I've broken this mini album tutorial into three parts, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can get to watch the other two parts that I'll be uploading soon. And I have also added some pictures of this beautiful Graphic 45 mini album in my blog. So check out my blog. The link is in the description area below. Enjoy the video. So after following our guidelines to make the envelope, you come out with an envelope that looks like this no need to use this part over here because we're really not going to get to see it you're going to be gluing it down and then on the sides you're going to trim a smidget off of each side For the inside tags, we could do a couple of things. We can either have just a regular tag and apply our paper on top of it. Um, for my purposes, how I'm applying the paper is I'm taking the mate to the original paper and then I'm flipping it over and on the other side you're going to have room for journaling so that's what I'm doing per tag now like I said you can just do a uh, tag a regular tag at a time or you can use tags from your stash or whatever you might have I have opted to use my we are memory keepers tab punch to make my tags so that each tag in turn will have one of these tabs and I'm really liking that. So uh, basically how I'm doing this is I'm doing a um, top, middle, and bottom tag and since this mini album is going to have three, uh, I mean six pages, we are going to have two of each. So um, the tab punch board that I'm using is this one right here and um, if, uh, if you don't have one of these you can easily just do a tag just like this kind of like a postcard type tag and uh, if you like you can um, this measures four by six if you like you could uh, trim your paper four 
by seven and a half, score at six, fold it over so that you can have your tag part fold over like this and in the fold over area you can have a nice trim from the very same paper line. And so, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show you how I'm making my tags. So I start with a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to trim my cardstock to 5 by 6 inches. Now, there are different ways of going about in making your um, tags using this punch board, but this is the easiest way for me to do this, so that's what I'm going to show you. So anyways, yeah, we are going to trim our paper at 5 by 6. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the top tag. So I'm going to take my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board and I'm going to use this little device here and I'm going to put it where it says the side tabs. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to be making large tags. Okay, you have three sizes, small, medium, and large. I'm going to be making large tags. So it's going to go like this and we are going to punch right there. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this little device and I'm just going to let it sit in its little carrier. I have my tab punched right there and I'm going to flip it over and now I'm going to align it to the large because that's the size that I said I'm going to use. See here is the shape of it and we align it to here and we punch. Okay, easy as that. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to this part right here. Okay, make sure that it's squared out real nicely. And I'm going to take this cutting tool and just basically get rid of that part right there. Okay, so I wind up with something like this. And you may want to hang on to these. These always make great uh, tabs too if you want to hang on to your uh, strips. So now I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to use my paper trimmer to trim this. So I know that my dimensions are going to be 4 by 6 in these inside tags. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to 4 inches and then I am going to be trimming this down like so. Okay, and this is how I make my tags. So, um, yeah. One more thing. To make these edges look nice and round, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our tab punch board and we're going to take this tiny little tool and we are going to place it where it says corner rounder, the second one, and it's going to go like that. Alrighty? And all we're going to do is just align our paper, just square it out, and punch. And there's our tab. Let's see. Okay. Nice and smooth. And there's one corner, and now two corners, and three corners, and we don't need to worry about this anymore. Okay. So, now that this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my matching, uh, the mate, to this one. I'm going to flip it over like so, and I'm going to align it here. Now, this itself is 4 by 6 so you may have to do some trimming. 
Alrighty, not the, not by that much. I see that I'm going to need to do some trimming over here, so that's when I'm going to take my paper trimmer and just kind of like give it a little trim right along there. Okay, and I can always take my cor corner rounder and punch out some corners here so that they'll match those corners there. And here we go. And here we go. Okay. So now that we have taken care of that, we are going to set it against our paper here. And it looks like we are going to need to do a little bit of a trim, just a smudge. Uh, I mean, just a little edge right there. So we go back to my paper trimmer. And just a tiny edge, not too much. Okay, and when doing this part, the measurements are go not going to be exact, but um, you just use your better judgment. You you do what um, what is coming out for you. There we go. There's one in. There's another one. Okay, so now that ought to do it. And yes, it does. We are going to take this part right here. I'm not liking the way that's... Alrighty. So I'm going to take my glue. And I am going to glue this on. Just like so, and just like so, and like so. Straighten this out. And we have our paper on there. Now, to back on there okay so we could leave this blank as a photo mat or if you wish you could put a, oops, another paper right on top here it is up to you me I have opted to leave this part blank now for these right here these are so super easy to make and I decided to make two covers one for each side because there's going to be a lot of pulling and I don't want this to go flimsy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paper from the paper line, okay? And what I have done is I have trimmed it to three inches in width. So you can see it's one, two, three, three inches wide, and the length I just left the regular length of it. So, what I'm gonna do here, and uh, you see how we have the edge, the black edge showing on it? That is very simple to do. Okay, we're gonna take our little uh, tool here and we're gonna put it back to where it says side tabs. Alrighty? Now, I'm going to take this in width wise and I'm going to do one punch. Okay? There, it's done the corner. This little tool goes back in here. And now I'm going to flip this paper over 
And you know that I'm using the large measurement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up to, but it's not going to meet the L. Let me bring this forward to you so you can see it better, I hope. See, here's the guideline to the large. I'm not going to go all the way to the guideline. I'm going to move it a little bit towards the left because I want that black area from the cardstock to show. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. There we go. Square it out and punch. Okay, so we have something like this. Now, I am going to trim this down. We're going to bring this here. Just square it out nice and easy. We're going to take our blade tool and we are just going to run it across here and we have our tab that's going to go on this part alrighty let's do the tab that's going to go on the other side for the other side I am opting to use this side alrighty and this is where I'm, I'm going to begin my um, corner trimming so we're going to go here we're going to go here this is going to go here and then we're going to take this we're going to flip it over we know that that's our guideline but we don't want it all the way to our guideline so we are going to trim it there okay and because the paper is going to be facing this way i want the um i want to cut it like so and then there we go Alrighty, and my next step is to glue these two parts right on here. Let me put this to the side. So we have that one. Now that's the top, and to make the one for the bottom is pretty much the same thing, except you're going to flip it over. Now, how do you make the tab for the middle? That's very simple as well. Okay. So I have trimmed my piece of black cardstock to five by six and I go back to my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board. Alrighty, so to do the middle part is very, very easy. We're going to look at the measurement of our width, how wide this is. And we already know that this is six inches wide. So on the tab punch board, we're going to find the number six, and that'll be for the measurement of your width. Okay. And right underneath that number, there's going to be three letters, SML. It stands for small, medium, and large, which coincide with the size of your tabs. So since we are doing large, we're going to be aligning our cardstock on the 6L, okay, which is right along there. I hope that y'all can see that. Okay, so I'm aligning it to the 6L, and then I am, let's see, Lining it to the six. I can't see. Okay, and now I am going to punch. So now we have this. We are going to turn it over now, and now we are going to align it to our L over here. Okay, it has to be there. You go. We're not leaving any spaces. We're going to align it exactly. So got that there and you wind up with something like this okay we're going to take this we're going to square it out right against our edge there let me make sure that we get the entire thing okay we're going to take our rotary cutting tool and we are just going to cut here and we are going to lift it and we are going to cut the remainder of the tab. So let's get these out of the way. And this is what we wind up with. So we got it trimmed to four inches. And one thing that I'm going to do over here is I'm going to use a different um, corner rounder simply because 
when I try to round it off here, it comes out a little bit wonky because it's not exactly um, flat. So I'm going to take another tool. You can have a corner rounder punch or whatever. I'm just going to use this tool to round off my corners. And that's one and two and three and four. Easy peasy. Okay. Alrighty, so this is going to go in here. We're going to take the mate to this one and we're going to flip it over. And we can see now that we do need to do a little bit of trimming on the side and uh, perhaps on the top. Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to use the same device that I used to round those corners off, to round these corners off, that way they match. Now, one thing I haven't done, if you've noticed, is I'm not inking the edges. And that's just personal preference. I like more of a clean look than the distressed look. So it's your choice whether or not you want to ink around the edges and distress the edges and whatnot. So it's, it's my choice not to. Get nice and flat. Okay, so now the next step is going to be this part right along here. It's that simple. So easy to do. So we are continuing to build our pages. It's coming out so cute. See, these are our back pages. I'm just loving it, loving it, loving it. Alrighty.